Hello and welcome to Math 200 Online Statistics at Kenyatta College. My name is Ray Lapuz. In this video, we will do a homework problem from section 10.2. It says that listed below are the brain volumes of twins and corresponding IQ scores. Construct a scatter plot and find the value of the linear correlation coefficient r, the p-value using 0.05 and then they want us to know, they want us to ask if there's sufficient evidence to conclude that there is linear correlation between the brain volume and the IQ scores. We have our data set here. We're testing rho, which is the correlation coefficient for the population. And to say that rho is not equal to zero means that there is correlation. It's far away from zero. Rho equal to zero means no correlation and rho closer to 1 or negative 1, which is going to be our limits for rho. Uh, the farther you are away from 0, the more correlation you're going to have. So the combination of rho equal to and rho not equal to is what we want, but A has it backwards. We always want the null hypothesis to, to have a condition of equality, so our selection here is going to be C. Next, they want us to do a scatter plot. <coughs> so um, we can take a look at some of these values and imagine how to plot them as paired values. But uh, let's use technology instead. We're going to copy this and put it into our stat crunch. Here's our stack crunch. Let's fit it into our screen a little bit. Our data set is already here and we have a very simple command. Uh, we're going to follow a regression, a simple linear regression. The x variables are going to be the brain volumes. The y variables are going to be the IQ scores. Uh, we don't need to build anything. We're going to do a hypothesis test. Note that the hypothesis test says intercept and slope. Uh, we're going to follow the slope a little bit um, and we're going to find our values. Um, we're also interested in a plot, so let's do a fitted line plot. Um, and I think that's it. Let's compute. And here are the results. Well, we have one of two parts of our results. So the arrows here goes to the different pages, and here is our scatter plot. We also have that fitted line. Let's say this is the, the regression line as close as it can get. Uh, we'll focus more on the regression line in the next section, but for now let's just look at the dots. And the dots look like they're just, well, scattered all over the place. So if we see this and find uh, some sort of pattern, we can immediately eliminate um, choice number B. And let's see what else we can eliminate. <coughs> Um, it looks like it's kind of bunched up and it has this kind of curve going down as in choice D. So let's, let's just take one more look and do a comparison. This is the, like the pattern going down. There's a lot of clustering happening here. Not that much, but there's some clustering happening in the lower left quadrant. Uh, so I think it's going to be uh, this, this selection over here, D. All right. Next, they want us to find the linear correlation coefficient. And in all these regression problems or correlation problems, they, they give us that in the beginning. So let's go back to the original page. And our correlation coefficient is here. Uh, it's fairly close to 0. It's negative. So it looks like, um, you know, take a one cloak quick look at the line again we have a slope of a line going downward so that's why it's negative 
So this is negative 0 0.062 or 0 0.063. It's going to be a negative number, 0 0.063. And then they want us to find our test statistic. Now the test statistic falls under um, the test statistic falls under the slope. And I know um, it's not what we're testing exactly, but the test statistic for the slope is the same as the test statistic for um, the correlation coefficient that we're looking for. So that'll be negative 0.26 or 0.27. negative point two seven are two decimal places uh, but they want three so that's negative point two six eight so negative point two six eight and then they want us to find the p-value so the same p-value that we're looking at here um, <clears throat> the p-value for the analysis regression model, 0 0.7912, 0 0.792, and we got a p-value that's fairly large, and what that's saying is that we're not going to be able to reject the null hypothesis, and the null hypothesis, remember, is saying rho is equal to zero which is saying no correlation so the p-value is really large greater than significance level then we cannot support the claim that there is linear correlation so there's not sufficient evidence to support the claim of linear correlation alright I hope that helps